Hey guys, today I wanted to discuss something that I find amazing and my new new interest that I just I can't get enough of. Uh, but I want to start this off by like just as kind of like a reminder or uh, why I'm even talking about this. Um, a while back, like a long time ago, I did I think a hangout vlog or something on here talking about a movie that I saw a clip from when I was younger of this like, I don't know, I was little, I don't know, I was really little, I don't really know how old I was, but uh, I've already said this, so I'm just gonna just kind of summarize it, but I basically saw this part in a movie flipping through channels just randomly of like this these creatures, goblin looking things with this green slime that ate some child's parents or something. Like that's all I could ever remember. That's all I've ever remembered for years. And this movie gave me nightmares. It traumatized me. Just the scenes, I don't know why. It scared me so bad. And I've been wondering what this movie was. Like I've been wanting to watch it since I, I saw that one scene when I was super little. And I'm all about like rewatching movies that scared me when I was little, like rewatching them. Like, and I pretty much found like all of them, you know. I, I mean, we, I could go on a, and list all the movies that where certain scenes scared me when I was a child, and then now I find them like hilarious or not as scary, you know, kind of like confronting your fear and all that stuff. But um, with this movie, I just couldn't. Re I couldn't remember for because for one, it was just randomly on TV, and I don't. Re I don't know what it was. So I asked you guys, and. A lot of you said that you knew the, the movie for a fact was Troll 2 and the most amazing thing happened. After I made that video, everyone's commenting and saying, it's Troll 2, it's Troll 2, like no doubt about it, it has to be it. So I went to my P.O. box and this was probably like two or three months ago, like not too long after I made that video and this lovely girl named Tracy sent me in my P.O. box Troll 2 and I mean I've been waiting ever since she sent it to me in my P.O. box to watch it and I knew I couldn't watch it by myself because if this is a horrible movie because for one my, when I got it in the mail my husband saw it and he was like you know that that is one of the most horribly horrible rated one of the worst movies ever rated like it's just the one of the worst movies of all time and so I thought, okay, then I'm not watching it by myself because for one, if I watch it by myself, it's probably not going to be as awesome as it would be if I watch it with a group of people. So I've kind of been, like, been waiting. I told my brother about it and um, we're like, oh, we got to have a movie night one of these nights. So just the other night, Saturday night, had some friends over and we decided to watch Troll 2. It was the greatest decision of my life and... I've I laughed so hard. I think I went on IMDb and it rates as like a two point something on IMDb. So bad, so bad. And so we watched it. And if you haven't seen it, you you have to watch it. But watch it with people. Be, I mean, at least for me, the movie would not have been as funny by myself. And plus, it's something to experience with other people because I think by myself I would have just wished other people were with me but I don't I won't, don't want to give anything away but those of you who have seen it I think we can relate that we will never look at corn the same way ever again corn corn on the cob popcorn it my world has changed and I do not regret it no regrets I I love it I mean look at the back of this all those scenes it's just then, then, uh, I decided to look up like the worst movies of all time or something and I think I found on YouTube it was like the top 10 worst movies ever created but they're so bad that they're good and I want to watch all of them. All of them. Give me all of them. Um, so I definitely have to say a, a big thank you to Tracy for sending me that in my P.O. box. Um, I want to watch more really horrible horror movies <laughs> that are so bad that they're good. Um, so I've kind of been like on the hunt online and looking for some. I just purchased uh, Mac and Me because I'm actually planning a movie night with friends in like a month or whatever and that's what we're going to watch. So I can't wait. Um, so what I want from you guys is 
what are some really horribly good bad horror movies or just movies in general whatever um that you guys would suggest and if you, if any of you do like want to send me anything in my p.o box just send me um like a message on my facebook page or on twitter i guess you could send me a private message here on youtube but i don't really check youtube too often um, but there's so many ways to contact me. There's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You could email me at the same email that I get my ghost stories, like that email, but I'm just afraid that it just gets like, I mean, I already have like over 300 emails for ghost story submissions, but I kind of really want to watch all these really horrible horror movies and then like review them. And then I would obviously like thank whoever suggested or sent it to me or whatever in the mail, you know, um, because I totally don't mind buying these movies, but if, like, you got them and they're, like, sitting in your garage, uh, and they're not, or they're, you, or you see it for, like, I don't know, super cheap at a yard sale, dude, just send it to me. I mean, I, I'll love it forever. <laughs> um, but if you want my P.O. Box number, I don't post it publicly, which I guess I could, but I don't know. I, I don't know. But you can totally, like, send me a message asking for my P.O. Box, and I'd be happy to give it to you if you want to send me a horrible horror movie. <laughs> uh, so don't send me Mac and Me, because I already am ordering that one. And maybe what I'll do is if I do more reviews like this, I'll just list the movies down below that I have, so that way, like, I don't get, like, in case you guys want to send me movies. I don't know. Or you can double check with me. Or just comment down below and let me suggest movies, and then I will look them up and see if I can get them for cheap because if they're really horrible I don't want to spend too much because I did look up I really want the movie Birdemic I really really want it really bad because I saw a preview for it and it looks so bad and so good um but when I looked it up on Amazon and on like eBay it's like ridiculously expensive like I got Mac and Me for like seven dollars free shipping and all that um but Birdemic like the cheapest one I could find was like sixteen dollars and if it's a horrible movie, I don't really want to spend a lot of money, I guess. And I don't want you guys to spend a lot of money either. If you're going to, like, some of you are like, oh, I'm total, I'll buy it for you. Like, don't, sp if it's $5, get it, okay? But don't get it if it's, like, tw I saw one for $26 and it was on Blu-ray. I don't, know. no. I will not let you guys spend money for me. Like, that's stupid. <sighs> So if any of you find Birdemic for super, super cheap, let me know. If you find it online somewhere, like Amazon or eBay, let me know. Because I will, I will buy it. I don't mind buying it. I will accept P.O. Box gifts, but <laughs> um, I don't, I don't want to spend a lot of money. So if I don't want to spend a lot of money, I don't want you guys to spend a lot of money. Anyways, I'm re repeating myself. So please suggest some horrible horror movies that are so bad they're good down below. And if you want to send me one, you can totally just send me a private message, social media, wherever. Um, yeah, if you've seen Troll 2, what's your favorite part? I, I personally like the corn. I don't know, the corn part, just, I love things that are so random that they blow my mind and just make me laugh. I don't, it would, that was, no words. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I will talk to you guys later, and I really hope to do more reviews like this on really horribly bad good movies. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.